district directors, organized labor, academics that are present here, minister, I'm told that are university professors and lecturers in our midst, uh, organized labor, learner representative council, teacher, teachers that are present, learners, and parents who have accompanied the cream of our country. And finally, greetings to our learners, the stars of South Africa that are present today here. Let me also greet members of the media. I know they are here. Minister was saying they take good news today. We're not fighting over any other things, but we're just communicating to the nation what is happening today here. It's an honor for me, Minister. Uh, the CEO has already welcomed us, but uh, just to officially declare this meeting open <laughs> uh, and acknowledge all distinguished guests who are all very important. Without you, this event was not going to be an event. So you are all very important. You are all our VIPs. Though we have the triple VIPs, our stars. So we are here today. We have attended the announcement of the NSC examination results by Minister Mutsega. And present in our midst today is learners who are the pride of our nation. The parents, caregivers, educators, principals, education mandarins, academics, and education professionals, and political leadership fraternity. Our nation and our government is proud of the class of 2022 on their achievement, especially as these are learners who have endured many challenges along the way to get this far. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a privilege and an honor to serve in this portfolio with our hardworking minister who continued to give guidance to the Department of Basic Education as technically we are going to call her the founder of the department because we never had the department called Department of basic education prior to 2009, and the first minister of that portfolio is Minister Angelina Mutsega. <laughs> uh, indeed, it's, this is yet another tough year where we discharge our leadership responsibilities under the able guidance of the President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency, Mr. Matamela Ramaphosa, which we truly appreciate his support. In, in the same breath, we also send our gratitude to cabinet and executive members, the members of the portfolio committee. Yes, we work in, we are in the national space, but we also appreciate the portfolio committees of provinces, as well as the National Council of Provinces. We may recall that when the President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency, Mr. Matamela Ramaphosa, declared COVID-19 a national state of disaster in 2020, we in the basic education sector resolved to work even harder to find solution for our education system to ensure the use of innovative means, including the use of information and communication technologies and other methods of to impart teaching and learning to our matriculants and other lower grades. And hence, we're able to outlive the peril caused by the pandemic. I want to thank all South Africans who supported the department to say, even in the midst of the COVID-19, like we'll all know that this class is was double affected because they were affected when they were doing grade 10 and grade 11, where they have to undergo a trimmed curriculum. But we want to thank the collective support from all partners that uh, we supported this class and the class today we are celebrating their efforts. I wish to remind 
all of you that Minister Mutsekha, this year, 2023, is turning 14 years in the department. And she has steering the department to the right direction. We saw her starting it from low to greater heights, which we believe that even this year, she will give us good results. I thought we were going to clap hands for this <laughs> dynamic woman, this dynamic, visionary, hardworking woman. The sector did everything in its power to, uh, yeah, under her leadership, you will all recall, there was a fight at some stage that uh, schools must not close, schools must not open. She insisted. At some times, she, was, she became the lone voice. Me, myself and MECs would gossip behind her back to say, hey, it's dangerous for the children to go to school. And when she comes to a meeting, she says, eh, eh, DM, let's open school. school. Children will be safe in our schools. And indeed, we saw that her visionary leadership led the sector to where it is today. Because had we allowed uh, the sector to collapse, to pick it up, it's a nightmare. So as I welcome you today, I'm glad to say that the worst is over. We have triumphed against the doom and gloom that engulfed our sector. In the words of former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, in the midst of a war, uh, he said, we'll prove ourselves once again able to defend our island home, to ride out the storm of war, and to outlive the menace of tyranny, if necessary for years and if necessary, alone. Indeed, we collectively triumphed, and the victory belongs to every one of us, learners, parents, organized labor, uh, business, everybody. No one can claim victory alone. We worked as a team. So for those who have passed, Opportunities for funding uh, in higher education are about potential students who intend to enroll at a public higher education institution can still apply to the National Student Financial Aid for funding, and NSFAS provides loans and bursaries to needy and deserving students. For those who did not make it in the in this round of assessment, they mustn't despair. If they don't achieve the results uh, they had hoped for, there's still life, there's a second chance. Um, we're appealing to all our learners outside there, those who may not make it, that there is life and they will be given a second chance. The Department of Basic Education is a caring department and the, the, some of the results which Minister is going to announce today are speaking to that, those learners that were given an opportunity, given a second chance. Uh, Rome was not built in a day, so we must understand that. But we congratulate all those who made it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all officially welcome to the announcement of the 2022 metric results. Deputy Minister, thank you so very much uh, for that, uh, Dr. Uh, Regina Mohaule, with the opening remarks, and certainly they are welcoming all of us uh, once again here. Uh, before we have the main address by uh, the Minister of uh, Basic Education, Angie Musek, I'd like to point you uh, to our screens. I do believe there is a, a short clip, a short video that uh, the Department of Education, why everything is being delayed, why is everything being done so late? And you'll recall that you know, the program uh, started last year quite late, and so everything, you know, it's a domino effect and everything else um, had to be pushed back due to the impact of uh, COVID-19. So of course, this is something that we're still with living with and it's still giving us uh, those many challenges. So I know the minister would have uh, probably want to address that and that's fine, but I thought, let me give you a break since I did give uh, your spokesperson a tough time um, on air regarding this as I'd seen that this was quite a pertinent question that people had been uh, asking. 
For now, let's uh, welcome then on the podium for the main address, uh, the Minister of uh, Basic Education, and certainly, as Deputy Minister said, at the forefront and certainly fighting uh, for the education of our learners throughout, uh, Minister Angie Motecha. No, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Program Director. Let me acknowledge my colleague, the Deputy Minister, Dr. Mahaule. Acknowledge the MECs, there's a full house. Thank you very much. Spelel. Uh, all nine MECs are here. Thank you very much for, for joining us tonight. Also, I see members of Parliament from different political parties. Thank you very much for honoring us here with your presence. I also saw some, the mayor and members of, uh, uh, of different councils. I also want to acknowledge our partners who are here, especially UMTN Muregi of tonight, our main sponsor. I want to acknowledge all the CEOs. I see quite a number of them, Abuba Bungasan and all the other CEOs that are here. DG, senior officials from different provinces, also DGs from, or heads of department from uh, different provinces. I want to acknowledge Uma Lucy, says the ELRC, the NEC, NECT, uh, led by Babu Sana, but also the DG from the presidency. We really feel honored and supported. I also had an encounter with, NG, <coughs> with SGPs do the, do, during the day, but also want to acknowledge your presence. Our key partners, teacher unions that are there, thank you very much also for your, for your presence. And uh, also during the day, we interacted with parents, with caregivers, and thank you very much again for honoring us with your presence and accompanying your learners. But more important also, Bo Singabo, Toben, Mulweni San Bonani Realocha, Dimateguan, nothing to you. Okay. Today, indeed, Program Director was gathered here to announce the 2022 National Senior Certificate exams. We are announcing the 2022 exams mindful of the reality that at the heart of any development within the basic education sector, the key thing is what learners learn. This point is clearly articulated in our action plan 2019 towards the realization of schooling 2030, the national development plan, continental education strategy for Africa, the African agenda 2063, but also SDG4 from UNESCO. It continues to be of great significance for South African development that learning outcomes are going to reliable, standardized testing programs such as SACMEC, which stands for South Southern East African Consortium 